we need to nationalize the entire care home granny farm industry. We need to bring it into uh, public ownership. We need to end the idea of uh, private profit from, uh, I was going to say, looking after our old people and our vulnerable, but in many care homes, that's actually uh, just about the last thing that happens in there. Uh, these care homes are all now in danger, apparently, uh, of uh, financial collapse. And as they collapse, the government should take them in. We need to look completely, comprehensively, uh, differently at the way we treat our elderly people. I have advocated all of my life uh, for a reform to the, uh, to the taxation system, which would allow people uh, to... Uh, expand their homes, build granny flats, uh, convert uh, lofts and so on to make space so that people could keep their elderly people at home as any civilized society should do. And where that's not possible for any variety of reason, the condition of the elderly person or the, uh, they may not have family and so on, uh, then there will have to be care homes and these care homes have to be part of the NHS and social care uh, system. So uh, the care home in question, I don't know if you're prepared to name it, uh, has an absolute obligation uh, to its workforce, never mind a legal yeah. obligation to its, uh, uh, its clients. Uh, and if it's not uh, living up to uh, its legal obligation to your sister, uh, then action needs to be taken. Uh, can you say which, which care home it is or is that difficult? I, I think that would be difficult because right. not, I'm not in the position to do that. All um, right. All right. However, you know, I think it is a disgrace. I think it's something you championed so far, and I, I'm really pleased that you're doing that. And thanks very much for your support. Thank and, you. And God bless you, and give give your sister my God regards. Bless.